Okay, so you've set your quiz and the answers start to come rolling in. And so it'll look like this as they start to come in. Here I've got two that have been handed in. I haven't marked them yet. Six that have been assigned but haven't been handed in yet. And then four that I've marked and returned. So that's how that works underneath at the bottom is the are the names of the people in the class, which obviously I've blanked out. And on the left-hand side, again, all the names of the people in the class with their marks next to them. So I double-click on the quiz. And in a new window, here's the quiz. So, bottom right corner, edit. When I click that, I can now go to responses. Obviously, I could also use it to change the quiz, which seems a bit harsh on the people who have done it already. But anyway, responses. There's three tabs here. They're all quite interesting. First one gives you an insight as a summary into different patterns. So, for example, there's the point distribution so far. So the four people that I've marked so far, frankly, don't know me that well. Then frequently missed questions. So as you can see, there are questions that people have not been able to answer or how well they've done with them. Um, individual scores of each student and then a breakdown of how well everybody has done on each question so far. So that's like an, an overall class uh, breakdown. In this section, the questions tab, you can again have a little look at this. It's basically just looking through the same question again. Thing, yeah? it's just, it's like an edit facility for that but individual is the one you're probably most interested in this is where you get to go through their marks now you don't have to mark these as such it can be quite interesting to go through and see who's who so in this drop down menu here you've got the six people who've done the task so far you could drop it down and see which one you want to go to or you could just move along one at a time and see which one you want. Obviously, I've, I've blanked all these out for security reasons. Uh -huh. So this is the first one I've not marked yet. I could just click release score and that's that. I'm not even look at it. I am quite curious as to what this person put though. Oh, oh, the other thing, of course, I could just not look at it now, but then look at the analysis later, couldn't I, when all the class are in. But release score, so I can have a little look. Okay, they got that one wrong, that one wrong, oh dear. All right, okay. Yeah, that one right, that one wrong. Oh, this is not a high flyer, is it, everybody? So I can now release the score, which as you can see up here is two out of 10. Very poor. Uh, and I can also send a message to that person via an email. I'm not gonna bother doing that. Up here, the symbol here is the symbol for a Google spreadsheet. And if you click on this, you can actually have a spreadsheet which breaks down when the task was done, the email address of the people who've done it, their score, and each individual answer in case you want to see exactly what they did. Let's go back to the quiz and let's go back here. As we see, we've got these results. Now then, I want to import the grades. So bring those grades we just looked at in and they will, slightly slow process, but they will then populate the scores here. And I can now select both of them and return it. So I'm saying I'm happy with what they've put. Uh, I've seen it and now I'm returning their score to them. So I hit return and I can put a, a little comment here. I'm gonna put to both of them could do better. If you want a personal comment, you could just send them one at a time. I hit return, and they've received their comments and they've seen their score, and now all six have been marked. So that's basically how you will return. Quiz. If we were to have another look now at that assessment bridge, you'd now see that all six are in the summary.